Okay guys, this is how you calculate defense stats in Dokken. Uh, I've been meaning to do this tutorial for quite a while, uh, so hopefully this will help make sense of how to get to the end point of defense stats after super attacking, which obviously doesn't show in game. I've been doing showcases for a little while now where I've done the calculations and edited, edited them into the gameplay. Sorry, that's a difficult word to roll off the tongue. Um, yeah, I've edited them into the gameplay and then done showcases in that way. But I'll show you how to calculate them just so you can maybe even double check my work or even do a few calculations of your own. Um, special shout out to uh, Halvard on Twitter and uh, Proton uh, who helped... Well, Halvard basically taught me how to do this uh, and Proton I double check a few things uh, with when I'm doing my calculations if I'm unsure. I'll go through what I need to check because there's a certain bit of information uh, within this process that isn't necessarily clear unless you know the code within the game. I have a basic understanding. Someone like Proton has a quite an in-depth understanding. So as you can see on the screen there, it's a, it's a pretty simple equation when you look at it like that. Uh, you basically have the unit's base stats, the one you see when you open the character list, you click on the unit and it shows you the stats. Uh, that's in the base column there. Uh, under leader skill, um, is obviously the leader skill buff. Items, if there are any applicable, then this is where it kind of gets a little bit complicated. Within the passive, there is phase one, oh, sorry, and, oh, God damn it, and phase two, right? Phase one and phase two passive. Now, I'll, get, I'll go in depth with them in a second. In between those is the links, so it's basically leader skill times base, then that result times item, that result times phase one of the passive, that result times links, that result times phase two of the passive if it's applicable, that result times the super attack effect, again, if applicable, uh, and then all of the rest times the active skill if applicable. Now it can come in different orders, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what order you put it in, as long as the figures are right, you'll get the final total. Now keep in mind as well, what you're about to see in terms of me entering numbers, uh, you gotta remember that when you're timesing something by 100%, you're timesing it by two. So if the leader skill is a 200% leader skill and you have, you know, the friend and the, the leader are both 200% leader skills, you're timesing it by five. It's a five times multiplier if you're increasing something by 200%. So, you know, doubling, uh, if, if it's a 100% increase, it's times two. If it's 200% increase, it's times three, et cetera, et cetera, and so forth. Uh, so we'll go straight into just a few examples. Um, off the top of my head, I'm just gonna go straight up. Super Saiyan 4 Goku, who was a favorite card of mine. Um, I'm just on Dokken Info, by the way. Uh, this is a pretty good site to use. Uh, Translate is a button you might want to use from time to time, but we'll go through it really quickly here. Now, let's pretend, um, for example, so we'll go Super Saiyan, uh, Saiyan 4 Goku. Uh, his base stats, where are we? Down the bottom here. His base stats at rainbow. Now, obviously, this is minus any uh, skill orbs that you might want to put on him. Is at rainbow, his max defense, is 15506. So in the base here, you put 15506. It's as simple as that. Times that by the leader skill. So that multiplied by five, which is what would happen if he's got a 200%. If, well, basically, if he's used as the leader and the friend, his defense stat will be as simple as 77,000. That's obviously not including any items, passive, links, etc. So we're here with uh, Super Saiyan Goku. We go up. Uh, what is, sorry, what's the next step? It's, uh, let's say there's no items. Just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna close the item and the active skill. The active skill is really only applicable on, P on, on units like Future Gohan, who increases his defense uh, on his active skill. Uh, STR Kid Boo, for example, who raises his uh, stats on active skill. But most units don't, so I'm just gonna close it up uh, for now. So in phase one of his passive skill, now, differentiating phase one and phase two is, is a little bit tricky. This is what I was talking about before when it kind of comes down to knowing things that are a little bit deeper rooted in the code. It's not actually, um, it's, it's not black and white within the description of the passive. However, there are a few rules of thumb that you can use and that's where this translate button comes in. See how it kind of simplifies it. You know, key three, start around, start around, on attack, after play a hit, uh, end of puzzle phase, end of puzzle phase, etc. So come back to translate, uh, just to be the normal passive. So straight up, he gets 150% on defense for his phase one of his passive. So that's gonna be 2.5 there. So at the start of the turn, without any links active, he should be sitting at just under 200K defense. Let's pretend, for example, he's linked with, uh, 
Well, let's just say he's got all his links active. Oh, let's not. Let's pretend he's got all of them except for prepared for battle because that would mean he's linked with uh, these guys here. They link every link other than prepared for battle. So he will be a little bit short. But basically, you've got shocking speed, which is 5%, 15% uh, total after it's shocking speed and GT, plus saying raw is 10, 10, it's 25 total. So 25% defense from these links. So 1.25, bang. Now he's up to 200, just under 250K defense. Now this is where it gets a little bit complicated. Um, basically the phase one defense is anything to do with, oh, and, and it's not as simple as this, there's always going to be exceptions, so please forgive me if I've missed anything or gotten anything wrong, but it's basically anything that is at the start of the turn or uh, applicable to the positioning that they are in on the, in the, in the, in the turn. So, um, so for him, this 70% defense and additional damage reduction is the first attacker of the turn. That defense is actually part of the phase one here. So it'd actually go 3.2 because it's all together there. So he's up to 300. Well, basically, before I do that, this is what you should be able to check. The, and this is basically where you can half double check your work. This is what should show before you actually lock in the orbs of the third uh, slot unit. Anyway, going back to this, 3.2 because he's in slot 1, hypothetically. Uh, and then, phase 2 of the passive is basically anything that can happen after the fact. So, basically, when everyone's locked in and all of that is calculated, anything that happens like on a, like after taking an attack, anything that happens uh, after taking a dodge, anything that happens on performing attack, things like that are part of the phase 2 passive. Uh, it's not clear, even when you go to translate, which um, Harry Tony has kindly put in there, it's still not the most clear thing unless you actually know the coding itself. Um, so it's, it, yeah, again, not super clear. End of puzzle phase counts as uh, phase one. After player hit counts as phase two. That's not clear though, unfortunately, um, at least from the game's point of view. So if we go, he gets, what is it? An additional 70% for three turns after receiving or evading attack. This goes here. So I'll show you the difference. How it actually works out is 1.7 goes there. He gets up to 520K. If it was to go here, 3.9K, it only goes up to 370. So it's quite the difference if you do get it wrong. So let's go here, 1.7 here. It's that uh, 5 uh, 527K, oh, what is it? Yeah, 527K defense. And then his super attack effect uh, on his ultra super raises defense for four turns basically races defense, which kindly Harry Tony has shown the actual percentage, which is 30%. So here, 1.3, bang. So basically turn one, if he's in slot one and takes a shot whilst linked with uh, the seven year Super Saiyan fours, his final defense will be 685,000. That's his defense, basically. If he gets the additional, by the way, uh, he does raise his defense by another 30%. He'll go here, 1.6. It gets up to 80k, uh, sorry, 840k defense. Now that is if he gets the additional. Also, because this effect here is 30% for four turns, that means 1.3 carries over to his next appearance. So with this here only activating, uh, or that's a four turn thing as well, isn't it? Where is it? Uh, for three turns, sorry. So if he's slot one, that will carry over to the third turn. Uh, the 70% will not because it's exclusive to him being in the first slot. So when he reaches turn three, what you should be looking at, linked with the same unit, hypothetically speaking, which is kind of not possible. Oh, well, yes, of course it is. Um, you'd be looking at that at the start of the turn. Putting him in slot one obviously means he's going to get that, which applies anyway. That's just the way it is. He's going to get hit, so he goes up 3.2 uh well, that's already there. The 3.2 comes from being in slot one. He's going to do his ultra super. So that adds another 1.3 on top of that. So it goes up to 1.6. Then if he was to hypothetically get the additional, that would be up to 1.9. He'd be at a million defense. That's Super Saiyan 4 Goku. That's just a little bit of a crash course. Uh, there are a few, I'll go through a few other examples. Uh, it, it's a lot to take in, but you do get used to it. Let's just go back one, 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 one. One, so everyone should be one. Uh, let's go for someone a little bit different. Let's go. Uh, let's find where's Piccolo Jr. He's kind of the classic one, really, that really hides the amount of defense that he gets. 
because uh, he gets so he's got so much going on. Here he is here. Now this guy. Uh, by the way, things like support uh, and and all the rest. What you want to try and consider is where the support is coming from in terms of its supply unit. So a unit like STR Bulma or any other support unit, basically, if they give support from their passive, it's from phase one of their passive. So if that's, if that's where it's sort of situated in, in their passive lineup, that's where the support will come from. Uh, someone like uh, LR AGL Vegito Blue, for example, who on his 18 key super uh, raises allies defense by 50% for that turn, because that support comes from his super attack effect, it actually gets applied here. So it basically adds greatly raises, in terms of how Doc and phrases things, to every other ally's um, uh, super attack effect. So if a unit was to already greatly raise and they were situated behind Vegito Blue, they would effectively be massively raising on their super attack effect for that turn. That's also how stacking works as well. If you have a stacking unit, uh, Vegito, uh, sorry, uh, Piccolo is not one. Uh, let's quickly, before we go to uh, Piccolo, let's find a stacking unit. Um, who have we got? No one on this. Oh, here. God Goku, for example. Let's just do God Goku. Um, God Goku. Just so we can see how his stacking will work. His max stats at rainbow, 13, 490. Bang goes here. Leader skill is five because let's pretend he's on a 200% leader. Uh, now his links. Let's just go shocking speed, warrior gods, over in a flash, prepare for battle. Let's, okay, so it's only shocking speed and prepare for battle. In total, it comes to 10%, so 1.1. Let's pretend they're all active just for the sake of uh, discussion. He only gets attack uh, on super attack when in his intro, so that doesn't matter for the point of defense. Attack and defense, 150%. So I usually just kind of enter them in as I go. They're... Uh, with three or more key spheres. The three or more key spheres will be as part of his phase one uh, passive, I do believe. Where are we? Uh, the three... Uh, yeah, attack and defense one. There you go. That'll be it there. So, yeah, there. So that will mean that this multiplier is now two. 150 plus 50, obviously, is... Oh, wait, sorry, that's three. 200% equals times three. Uh, and then there's no more defense until here, which is when attacking. So at start of the turn, on, on turn one, he should be looking at about 222. Now keep in mind, Dokken always rounds down. So if you are triple checking your work, you might find that it's going to be 222,584. Something along those lines. If you're out by like one or two, like literally just one or two, that's just simply how it's going to be. Uh, you know, you can't, they, 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 they have little nuances there that make it a little bit off. But if you're close enough within, you know, literally one or two or three even, you, you're pretty much there. Now, he gets 50% when attacking and he stacks by 20% with each super attack. So he gets 1.5 there. Bang. As soon as he's done a super attack, he gets that and he also gets that. So after his first super attack, he's sitting there at 400k defense. You got six orbs, so he's going to do an additional. So it ends up being 1.4. So he jumps up to 467,000. Let's just say he did the triple super just for argument's sake. He's there at 1.6. Now, if I just go, okay, this is going to be his second appearance. So he's going to go bang, bang, bang. And go one, one. Uh, it's actually going to be, uh, sorry. So at the start of his second turn, if he's done a triple super, that 1.6 carries over. Why is, oh, hang on. I gotta do these other ones. God damn it! Oh, hang on. Why isn't that uh, this one here? That's got to be one because they're all relevant. One. So at his, at the start of his second appearance, if he gets three supers, basically the only thing that won't be active is the 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 phase two passive that activates on super. So he should be standing still at the start of the turn when you can check his defense. He should be sitting at three hundred and fifty six thousand defense when he attacks. He's going to go 1.5 because he gets that buff as well, but 1.8 because it's another 20% for one super. Two neat after the second super, and let's say he triples again, 2.2, he's at 730k defense there. So that's what the super attack effect hap uh, 
is when you're stacking. Stacking doesn't come onto the passive, doesn't go on the links, doesn't go onto the, the base stats or anything like that. It goes onto the multiplier that is the super attack effect. All right, now I'll just clear that out. Uh, God damn it. Uh, where are we? Delete, delete, delete. Uh, one, 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 one. And now we're going to go Piccolo Jr., who is an absolute maniac uh, for defense. Where did he go? There he is. Now, this is a tricky one, to be honest. Um, all right, where is his stats? He kicks off with 13, 4, 2, let's, you know what? Let's do it at 55% just to kind of, uh, no, you know, we'll keep it at rainbow. Uh, there we are, Thir 13, 4, 2, 5, not far off God Goku's actually. Um, this can be deleted just for the time being. All right, now leader skill is 5, obviously. Uh, we don't have any items active. In phase 1, we have, on his very first turn, he's going to have 101% defense plus 150. Both of those are part of the phase 1 passive. So that's 251%. Uh, percent. So 3.51 in that column there. Uh, with his links, let's just say he's got big bad bosses. Oh, and Thirst for Conquest. Let's say he's linked with um, STR Cooler in this in this scenario. Uh, I've got a showcase coming where that kind of shows. Actually, you know what? Nah, we'll just go big bad bosses just for the ease of things. So that's 1.25% in his links. So he'll be standing still at a pretty modest... 294k um, defense. Now, we're going to put him in slot one. He's done no attacks. So this here, when you when you raise your attack, you know, per attack or per super attack or on attack or anything like that, that is part of the phase two passive. So it's impossible to see that effect until the attack has happened, which means it's impossible to see until at least the following turn if it carries over, which fortunately, fortunately this does. But... Uh, Attack and defense, 60% uh, on the same term after receiving attack. Now, this is also part of the phase two passive. They're both there like that. Plus an additional attack and defense, plus 100% when performing a super attack uh, in second or third slot. That's not going to be applicable for now. We're going to pretend he's in the first slot here. Um, so, none of that happens. Let's say he takes that hit. So, he goes 1.6 there. So when he takes that shot, before even attacking, he's already jumped up to 471k defense. Now he attacks. First super attack, he adds 1.2. Oh, sorry, he adds 0.2. So it goes from 1.6 to 1.8 because it's 20% per super attack. He goes bang. And also on his super attack effect, he raises by 30%. So in the super attack effect, 1.3, bang. So he's he goes from 280k defense to 689k defense from just one super attack. Let's pretend, well, let's not pretend, because he does, uh, where is he? Uh, high chance of launching this, uh, an additional super attack for one turn from the start of the turn. Let's say he gets that. So you're adding another 0.2, because it's another one of these little 20% uh, stacks here. So he, this is going to go up to 2. Bang. That's also going to go to 1.6. Bang. He's nearly at a million defense on just two supers on his first appearance. Now... Where are we? Uh, for five turns, gee, he simply just has a medium chance of launching an additional super attack. This is all possible turn one, so he's going to do that super. So he goes 2.2 because it's another super attack to build up that 20% up to a max of 100. And then 1.9 because that's his super attack effect. Bang. He's he's at 120, sorry, 1,231,000k defense. Anything else there to consider? Uh, no, but he also has the hidden potential. So let's say his hidden potential goes off after doing three super attacks. Now he's at 2.4 there and 2.2 there. Bang, he's at one and a half million defense. Insanity. Now, second appearance, Piccolo Jr. He's on a 200% leader. No items active. Uh, I'm just going to make that, well... Let's just make that one for now, just for the argument's sake. He's going to have big bad bosses active. Now, the thing that disappears is this 60% after receiving attack in the same turn, because it only lasts for one turn. Oh, wait, I didn't even apply that, did I? 4.51. I didn't make that distinction. He actually is at nearly 2 million defense after three, what is that? Four supers in slot one on turn one. 
because I didn't apply this, plus an additional attack and defense 100% and all enemies down 30% as the first attacker in the turn. So that was a mistake on my part, but that just shows you how bonkers he is. So that's what he is after the first turn doing four super attacks. So the things that do carry over is this here, attack and defense plus 20% with each super attacker formed up to 100%. Because that doesn't specify that it only lasts one turn, it actually stays. So what you wanna do is add 1.8 there, bang. Uh, no super attack effect because his super attack effects only last one turn. So that reverts down to one. There's no active skill active. So bang, let's just drag that down for, oh, God damn it, for the math, bang. So where are we? Uh, he should be, depending on where you've got, oh, where are we? Uh, this here, that they're not definitive. So yeah, so it'll be the 3.5. Five, one, bang. So he should be standing still on his second appearance after four supers at 530k defense. Let's pretend he's got his active skill that turn. What's his active skill conditions? Uh, starting, let's say you've, yeah, all right. Um, or, wait, no, that's that's the giant skill. Where is it? Um, or when facing two or more enemies. What stage has that? Doesn't matter. Let's pretend there's two or more enemies. So he can activate his active skill. This is where the shenanigans come in, I guess. So you're going to activate his active skill in the second or third slot. Why? Because he gets additional attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack when he's in and a high chance of performing an additional. So he's going to get an additional here. So this is where he gets the chance to do five supers, by the way. The extra 100% when in second or third attack, uh, when performing a super attack, which means it's in this passive phase two when he's in second or third slot. So he activates that. That super attack effect just goes bang. He's already he basically times this by two. That's what happens. Now, oh, that's not the super attack effect, pardon me. It is passive phase two. So it's 2.8 there. Bang. So he's at eight. So when you do that active skill, if he has been in slot one and he's done four super attacks on his second appearance after doing the active skill in slot two or three, check his defense and he'll be sitting at a nice healthy 824k defense. Now we move him into slot one. In slot one, he'll also get the additional 100% defense, which is part of the phase one passive. So that's why it goes up to 4.51. Bang. He gets the 60% uh, after receiving an attack. Say so he gets that. This goes into the passive phase two. So that's 3.4. Bang. All right. He hasn't even attacked yet. So this is what happens when he has done his active skill in slot two or three, and he's only taken that first shot from the, from the enemy before attacking. He'll be sitting down at a nice, healthy 1.28 million. Now he attacks. This attack is his fifth attack, so he maxes that out. So it's only adding 0.2 here. Hey, Iro. Sorry, that's the cat you might be able to hear. Uh, 3.6 there. So he jumps up to 1.36, but he also adds another 3. Point, no, we've already added that 0.6, haven't we? Yes. Have we? Sorry, I, I get... That's how much he's got going on. I get kind of lost. Um, yes, we already added that. Uh, and now we actually have to add the super attack effect, which is 1.3. Bang. That's after the first super attack. Because he is because he simply has a medium chance of launching a super attack, he gets that. We don't increase this anymore because that maxes out at 100%. So we're just increasing this from now on. Second super attack, 1.6. Bang. Third super attack because he gets, uh, oh no, that's for one turn. So he can't get that super attack. So he gets the medium chance here. Uh, he gets the high chance of launching an additional super attack. So he gets that one. So it's 1.9 after the third super attack. And then the hidden potential goes off, which makes it 2.2 again. Bang, he's at 200, oh, sorry, 2.99 million defense. He has no skill orbs. So that could have very easily been three mil. This is a long video. I do apologize, guys. So if you've stuck with me, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you did. I could go through these time and time again in terms of different examples, but I hope that gives you an indication of how defense is calculated. It's pretty complicated, uh, and, and feel free to hit me up at any point if you're curious as to what constitutes phase one of the passive and phase two of the passive. I don't have all the answers. I have people that I ask on a regular basis, um, but I am getting kind of knowledgeable as to what's what. Um, also, thanks to the fact that I did design my own units once upon a time, so I kind of have that little bit of extra knowledge of the coding in the background as well. But that's the examples there. If you have any questions, please shout out. Um, 
it's, 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 it is a complicated process, but if you stick to this, you should be fine. Don't be afraid to get it wrong. I've gotten it wrong several times. I usually get people to double check my work where possible. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, uh, you can find me on Instagram or Twitter at GregDawDBZ, all one word. Um, obviously, you've got me here on YouTube. Uh, I also have a Discord server, which should be linked in the description below. Um, you can support me over on Ko-Fi or on Instagram with monthly subscriptions if you choose. Uh, if you do, there will be a credits page here, uh, which your name will appear on. Um, but I digress. Anyway, that is how to calculate defense. Like I said, any questions, hit me up. I hope this helped, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.